God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Watch o'er thy church, O Lord, in mercy. Save it from evil, God, it still. Perfect it in thy love, unite it. Cleansed and conformed unto thy will. Those great ones scattered on the hillsides. Was in this broken bread made one. So from all lands thy church be gathered into thy kingdom by thy Son. We groan in pain as we await the redemption of our bodies. I said, I will be watchful of my ways, for fear I should sin with my tongue. I will put a curb on my lips when the wicked man stands before me. I was dumb, silent and still. His prosperity stirred my grief. My heart was burning within me. At the thought of it, the fire blazed up, and my tongue burst into speech. O oh Lord, you have shown me my end. How short is the length of my days! Now I know how fleeting is my life. You have given me a short span of days. My life is as nothing in your sight. A mere breath, the man who stood so firm. A mere shadow, the man passing by. A mere breath, the riches he hoards, not knowing who will have them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We groan in pain as, as we, we await, await the, the redemption, redemption of, of our, our bodies. bodies. Hear and answer my prayer, O Lord. Let me not weep in vain. And now, Lord, what is there to wait for? In you rests all my hope. Set me free from all my sins. Do not make me the taunt of the fool. I was silent, not opening my lips, because this was all your doing. Take away your scourge from me. I am crushed by the blows of your hand. You punish man's sins and correct him. Like the moth, you devour all he treasures. Mortal man is no more than a breath. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, turn your ear to my cry. Do not be deaf to my tears. In your house I am a passing guest, a pilgrim, like all my fathers. Look away that I may breathe again before I depart to be no more. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hear and answer my prayer, O, o Lord. Lord. Let, Let me, me not, not weep, weep in vain. I have put all my trust in God's never-failing mercy. Why do you boast of your wickedness, you champion of evil? planning ruin all day long, your tongue like a sharpened razor, you master of deceit. You love evil more than good, lies more than truth. You love the destructive word, you tongue of deceit. For this God will destroy you and remove you forever. He will snatch you from your tent and uproot you from the land of the living. The just shall see and fear. They shall laugh and say, so this is the man who refused to take God as a stronghold, but trusted in the greatness of his wealth and grew powerful by his crimes. But I am like a growing olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the goodness of God forever and ever. I will thank you forevermore, for this is your doing. I will proclaim that your name is good in the presence of your friends. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
I have put all my trust in in God's God's never-failing mercy. I put my trust in the word of the Lord. All my hope is in him. From the second book of Samuel, the Lord's anger against Israel flared again, and he incited David against the Israelites by prompting him to number Israel and Judah. Accordingly, the king said to Joab and the leaders of the army who were with him, Tour all the tribes in Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, and register the people, that I may know their number. But Joab said to the king, May the Lord your God increase the number of people a hundredfold, for your royal majesty to see it with his own eyes. But why does it please my lord the king to order a thing of this kind? The king, however, overruled Joab and the leaders of the army. So they left the king's presence in order to register the people of Israel. Afterward, however, David regretted having numbered the people and said to the Lord, I have sinned grievously in what I have done. But now, Lord, forgive the guilt of your servant for I have been very foolish. When David rose in the morning, the Lord had spoken to the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and say to David, This is what the Lord says. I offer you three alternatives. Choose one of them, and I will inflict it on you. Gad then went to David to inform him. He asked, Do you want a three years famine to come upon your land? or to flee from your enemy three months while he pursues you, or to have a three days pestilence in your land. Now consider and decide what I must reply to him who sent me. David answered Gad, I am in very serious difficulty. Let us fall by the hand of God, for he is most merciful, but let me not fall by the hand of man. Thus David chose the pestilence, Now it was the time of the wheat harvest when the plague broke out among the people. The Lord then sent a pestilence over Israel from morning until the time appointed, and 70,000 of the people from Dan to Beersheba died. But when the angel stretched forth his hand toward Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord regretted the calamity and said to the angel causing the destruction among the people, Enough now, stay your hand. The angel of the Lord was then standing at the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite. When David saw the angel who was striking the people, he said to the Lord, It is I who have sinned. It is I, the shepherd, who have done wrong. But these are sheep. What have they done? Punish me and my kindred. On the same day, Gad went to David and said to him, Go up and build an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Arauna the Jebusite. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty silver shekels. Then David built an altar there to the Lord and offered holocausts and peace offerings. The Lord granted relief to the country, and the plague was checked in Israel. Remember, O Lord, your covenant, and say to the destroying angel, Enough! Now hold back your hand. Lest you ravage the land and destroy all the people. It was I who sinned, I who did wrong. But these sheep, what have they done? Lord, I beg you to turn your anger away from your people. Lest you ravage the land and destroy all the people. From the ancient document entitled the teaching of the Twelve Apostles. Celebrate the Eucharist as follows. Say over the cup, we give you thanks, Father, for the holy vine of David, your servant, which you made known to us through Jesus, your servant. To you be glory forever. Over the broken bread, say, We give you thanks, Father, for the life and the knowledge which you have revealed to us through Jesus your servant. 
To you be glory forever. As this broken bread scattered on the mountains was gathered and became one, so too may your church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. For glory and power are yours through Jesus Christ forever. Do not let anyone eat or drink of your Eucharist, except those who have been baptized in the name of the Lord. For the statement of the Lord applies here also. Do not give to dogs what is holy. When you finish the meal, offer thanks in this manner. We thank you, Holy Father, for your name which you enshrined in our hearts. We thank you for the knowledge and faith and immortality which you reveal to us through your servant Jesus. To you be glory forever. Almighty Ruler, you created all things for the sake of your name. You gave men food and drink to enjoy, so that they might give you thanks. Now you have favored us through Jesus your servant with spiritual food and drink, as well as with eternal life. Above all, we thank you because you are mighty. To you be glory forever. Remember, Lord, your church and deliver her from all evil. Perfect her in your love, and, once she has been sanctified, gather her together from the four winds into the kingdom which you have prepared for her. For power and glory are yours forever. May grace come, and this world pass away, Hosanna to the God of David. If anyone is holy, let him come. If anyone is not, let him repent. Maranatha. Amen. On the Lord's day, when you have been gathered together, break bread and celebrate the Eucharist. But first confess your sins, so that your offering may be pure. If anyone has a quarrel with his neighbor, that person should not join you until he has been reconciled. Your sacrifice must not be defiled. In this regard, the Lord has said, In every place and time, offer me a pure sacrifice. I am a great king, says the Lord, and my name is great among the nations. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? And the bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is but one bread, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. And the bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Let us pray. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.